Okay, so the time is, check that out, is 2.51 a.m. Yes, it's 2.50 in the morning. <clears throat> And I'm going to go watch a movie on the cinema. Is that crazy? Little bit. So, shall we talk about this craziness then? I am at the cinema now. And, yeah, uh, the movie being released is Endgame, Avengers Endgame. And uh, there are quite a few shows, but this is the very first one. And I was not crazy enough to go for the first one itself, but you know that I like these uh, couple of seats, K22, K21. I want to have one of those in IMAX if I want to watch a movie that I really, really want to watch. If it's like Shazam or something, eh, don't care. And uh, somehow, even like a month in advance, I could not get those seats for any other shows, uh, like seven o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning, nothing like that. So I had to go for this 3.45 a.m., which is, yeah, I admit it's crazy, but, mm, I don't sleep before four o'clock anyway. Today actually I have slept. Uh, so let me talk about my expectations from the movie. This is like a three hour movie and <clears throat> what can be better than a long Avengers movie? Um, I do know they will sort all that shit out from the last one, you know, the last Infinity War had such a bitter soul crushing end. Um, so I know that they will sort all that crap out, but what I want is that the movie itself is also watchable and nice in the process, you know, lots of action like Infinity War. The, other than the end, the movie itself was really good. Lots of action, lots of uh, lots of stuff happening between the characters and all that. So that was good to watch. Um, other than, as I said, the end. Uh, so today also I'm expecting that it should be a good movie with a good ending in that as well. Uh, I hope that Captain Marvel doesn't have too big a role because I'm not a big fan of hers, as you know. Uh, but uh, we will see, it depends on the directors, not me. So that's it with that, I'm gonna go in and uh, see what we can do. Oh, I forgot one thing. This is the extent of my cosplay, customization, dress up, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, that's all, that's what I wanted to show you. Freaking hell, what are all these people doing here? Even Starbucks is still open. 
Oh, that's manic. Good to be out in the fresh air, smoking. Must be some nerdy movie being released as well. Crazy, so many crazy people in the world. Okay, so this is my first review of the Avengers Endgame. I have just come out. It's light now. I went in at 3.45 show. Uh, it was dark outside then. So the movie was very long, at least two and a half hours long just for the action. And there's about maybe 20 minutes long credits, which I left because there's no post credit scene in there. I found that out from the internet. Uh, there's supposed to be an audio recording later on, which I was not that interested in. Uh, but the movie itself is fantastic. It is as good as any fan would want it to be. If you were a fan, you wanted to make a movie and you wanted it to be really, really good, this is what you would make. So the Marvel know what their fans want and they give it to the fans exactly that so um, you know what's going to happen in that because they're going to try and reverse the effects of the infinity war the the snap emission what it was called um, <clears throat> but other than that as to what happens on the way or how things progress how they fight what superheroes are made of this is fantastic for that the characters and the, how the characters interplay with each other their relationship dynamics that is all fantastic and it's not just the heroes but the villains also the surprise and some of the scenes are really breathtaking the, the action scenes and some of the character driven action scenes i can't say more because i don't want to spoil it uh, but it's definitely a really really good movie uh, i'm probably going to watch at least four or five times again because it's so enjoyable all through the movie. They may be a little bit of a slow portion, but they are very small. And if you love the characters, if you love the Marvel movies, then you would uh, sit through them anyway. You would still enjoy them. Like the, po the final post climax part is slightly long as well. But as I said, if you're a fan of Marvel, then you would enjoy that because you are very much emotionally invested into these characters. Everything comes full circle in this movie. And because of that, if you're a diehard Marvel fan who has watched all the movies right from first Iron Man, then you would enjoy it that much more. So the more movies you have watched, the more you will enjoy this one. And if you were really, really sad after watching Infinity War, like I was, I was like practically depressed when I came out of the cinema, um, then you would be really happy how things go in this movie. So my recommendation is two thumbs up, definitely go watch it. I would give it at least 20 out of 10 in, in on the scale. Fantastic movie. Uh, that's my first review. So I hope that you watch it and then you enjoy it. Thank you and see you in the next video. <laughs>